What's up guys, Midnight Collectibles here, and today we have a video review of the Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee movie, Shockwave. So, here we are. And uh, first off, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So, he does have a nice little windowless packaging here. Some cool art of him on the side. Some art of him on top. Oops. Get some art on the side. And you get some information and words on the back. No bio or anything. Just some more pictures and whatnot. And there we go. So, moving on to the figure. Here is Little Shockwave. And he's a cool figure. He's got lots of detail, surprisingly, for such a small figure. And, you know, I mean, yeah, he's, he's great. Uh, Articulation-wise, he does have ball joint at the shoulder, hinge at the elbow. This arm is hindered because of the cannon. Um, knees do bend a bit, and he actually does have some foot articulation. And he also has a ball joint at the waist, or at the top of the thigh so yeah i mean he's he's pretty darn nice uh you can take off his cannon if you really want to it just kind of pegs in there can you get that to focus there we go see it just pegs into his hand so if you wanted to you can display shockwave without his cannon i feel like in my opinion he's not shockwave without his cannon but Display it however you would like to. I'm going to put it back on for the rest of the review. So looking at the details, it's his little noggin. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. So here you can see the details. He's got a nice little yellow eye. He's actually got some silver on the sides of his head, as well as in the little eye area. Let's see this. Some little fins up here, painted silver. His gun is painted in nice shiny silver. He's got some trim around his chest as well as sort of slightly more reddish purple inside of his chest. And uh, yeah, let's do a little 360 of him. He's a great looking figure. All right, now, for comparison, here he is with, stand him up straight so you can get a good idea. There you go. Here he is with Deluxe Class Ironhide. You can see how they look together. Here he is with Bumblebee Movie Bumblebee, also a Deluxe Class figure. You can see actually, not all deluxes are made the same. And finally, here he is with Voyager Class Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. And uh, yeah, he's, he's small. <laughs> he is not a very big figure at all. He is core class, so yup. Cool figure, nonetheless, though. It would be nice if they gave him a leader class version, but we already have a leader shockwave from Dark of the Moon, so. Okay, so let's get down to transformation. So first off, you wanna start by removing his gun here. Okay. Then, you untab his waist here, flip that up, and sort of rotate it forward, right there. Then you can shift the legs, actually get the arms out of the way, so kind of rotate them back like this. Then you can rotate his legs up, and then you can tab this section under here like so then you have that and he's you know 
That's a great looking pose right there. <laughs> then you flip the feet down like that. And you can actually, I think you can tab the legs in right now, like so into the sides of the chest. See, there's a little peg there. You can just plug that into the leg. Then you can flip this part forward. Actually, make sure the arms are out of the way. You don't want them to hit anything. So then you can flip this forward. Actually, that one kind of went into the slot. Make sure the arms are out of the way. Flip that forward, and it's locked in. And then you can sort of move the arms into those tabs right there. There we go. So you rotate that, then you rotate that. And then that kind of plugs into the arm. Hmm. There we go. Okay, there he is in his tank mode. And finally, for the finishing touch, you can rotate the head around. Sometimes this arm, the arms kind of have trouble because they're kind of just tabbed in there. You rotate the camera down a bit. See the arms, they kind of come untabbed sometimes. Okay, so now you can flip this peg forward here. And there's actually a port in the back of this head that you can just stick the gun onto. Gotta be careful, you don't wanna scuff any of the silver paint. You just do that. And there we go. Let's fix that arm. So yeah, there is little Shockwave in his tank mode. And I mean, that's a pretty good looking tank mode. It's, you know, it's tiny and he's kind of just, you know, <laughs> He's kind of just folded up there, but you can, you know, you can literally see his head, but you know, it's neat. He slides as sliding things can. His treads have no wheels or anything. Uh, the cannon can rotate because it's on his head joint. So the cannon actually does move side to side. And yeah, there he is. And again, same amount of detail here. Uh, yeah, it looks great though. It's a fun little figure. For the price, it's, you know, it's good. It's a core class. <laughs> so I think that will do it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.